Hey everybody, welcome back to Out of the Gate. I'm Justin. And I'm Max. I'm Jordan. The Puma's here. Yay! Woo! For episode 49. Which, you know. So we'll have episode 15 in about four weeks. That's the way we're going. If y'all think he's joking, we're not kidding. It'll probably take about three or four weeks to get it all done. Yeah. Because it's going to be very, very widespread. We're going to have everybody, or we're going to try and have everybody that's previously been on, on that episode. Yeah. But they'll be cut up in the parts, so. Yeah. So it'll be, uh, it'll be a fun one. I sure think it'll be fun. Uh, yeah, so we're going to try and, I'm going to try, I want to really want to make that video more quality and quantity, but. Yeah. Which why it might take a little longer. So. Which kind of fits in because we haven't been putting the episodes out very consistently lately. But we've also had a lot, of, like you, Justin. We've had, you've you've had a recent. Um, what do I call said. that event? I wouldn't call that an event. Um, what are you talking about? Your grandpa. That's why we didn't do it last oh, week. Oh, death. Yeah, My great grandpa. Recent death. <laughs> I mean. So, I mean, this is we what it is. It. We just didn't want to do it. We right, yeah. And I wasn't feeling too great anyway. So it, it kind of worked out. Yeah. Weston's not here. I don't know if anybody noticed that. but uh, How could you not? Yeah. How, he somehow has family photos today. Just not out, the first, out of the blue. Just, not the first person that's bailed on us for family photos, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At, at a random mansion or wherever he, wherever he's random at. mansion <laughs> alright you want to go into memes or you want to go into news Cause I, there's, there's one piece of news that uh, I saw actually just yesterday I, wanna, I know I've already brought it up to you but he probably doesn't know about it um I don't know if we well I don't know let's do memes first right. normally do memes first alright here are the memes coming in hot Hopefully. All right, here we go. I ordered two cakes and asked them to, to write happy birthday on both, and this is what I got. <laughs> <laughs> is that something you did when you worked at Dairy Queen? Uh, I wrote on, like, two cakes because I was the only one that could, and I am not good at it, so they looked awful. Hmm. But I told people beforehand, I said, look, I'm not good at this, but I'm the only one that can do it. Said so. That that I I'm gonna I'm gonna tell I said I won't tell you straight up. I I can try my best, but it's not gonna look great. And they're like, oh, that's okay. I don't care. And I'm like, all right. Totally got it. Yeah. Yeah. And then they were like, wow, we thought he was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that moment when you gotta choose between Elmo the hugger and Elmo the kidnapper. <laughs> 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 yeah, put your kid to sleep faster. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention, like, that, that's probably a collector. Well, look, <laughs> down here he's choking her. <laughs> that's a different kind of Elmo. <laughs> Cop, have you seen anything unusual? Me? A dolphin with, with a hat once. I mean, around here. No, they live in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a test. Me? Eh, it's close enough. I've done that so I've many times. I've done that times. so many times. <laughs> and it's it, never right. It's never right. It's always like the one that's like way, way yeah. far off. Yeah, it's never right, but I've done it so many times. Uh, me decorates my house with fake spider webs. The spiders. It's, it's free, free real estate. It's free real estate. <laughs> I hope the mic could pick that could pick that up. I doubt it. No, it did. Yeah. How to avoid stress at work? Don't go to work. I just don't stress at work. I just don't care. 
She's Jordan, like, you got anything to I say? I don't go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Girls be like, he oops. <laughs> My bad, honey. I got curb rash on your tires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what about the bent frame? <laughs> what about the rock that's under the car? <laughs> I got a... I got lucky in that department. I'm always a pretty good driver. For now. <laughs> in, 2015, or in 2015 film uh, Jurassic World, Chris Pratt's character carries the stainless steel uh, Marlin 1895. It is the only version on their website rated for a T-Rex. Did you know that? Now, how did they I know that? <laughs> <laughs> They just guess. It um, works too. I shot a T Rex two days ago, dropped like a sack of potatoes. Still don't know why he was carrying a bucket of candy. <laughs> it is not even rated for an alligator, and you mean to tell me they're gonna shoot a T Rex with that thing? <laughs> the other things that are on the scale are deer, bears, pigs, and moose. And then they decided, hey, curveball, T Rex. <laughs> this one's a reptile. <laughs> They really wanted to hit hard with that uh, advertisement for Jurassic Park. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. Shot a T-Rex two days ago. <laughs> it was dropped by a sack of potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why he's carrying a bucket of candy. Oh, boy. Uh, all right. So, the news that, uh, that I saw <laughs> yesterday was, well, it's Sunday. We, t- we fell back. The time fell back. And now I guess Supreme, the Supreme Court, somebody is wanting to vote on uh, completely eliminating that. They've been talking about doing that for years. Yeah, but supposedly it has made to the vote as of today. I mean, what are your thoughts about that? I don't care. <laughs> Just means I don't have to keep resetting the clock on my car. Oh, do you want do you do you want to know the reasons why why they want to do that? Why? It's because they want more of a productive. Um, it's more productive as in the economy itself because you got way more people working during the day. Something to do with like working more in the daylight or something like that. Yeah, that's it's daylight your, savings. Is what it's called. It's to it's to maximize the amount of daytime that is light. Eat or yeah. what? <laughs> maximize the amount of daytime that is light. Yeah, where it's still light outside. Okay. Like, you know how in the winter it gets darker right. sooner? So then it gets brighter earlier. Right. Yeah. So then they... That just means you gotta get up earlier. Yeah, well... that's. I mean, I don't know. I think it's dumb... I just think it's stupid. I like the two, the extra hour of sleep. Hey Max, you want an extra hour of sleep? Go to bed earlier. Go to bed earlier. <laughs> Not an option. Yes, it is. No, it really is. It's always an option. <laughs> I'm usually with you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I and he's normally you. asleep before everybody else. I still get an adequate amount of sleep. Um, let's see. What was the other one? Hey, wait, hold on. If you wanting to keep it is because of getting an hour of sleep, how do you feel about losing the hour of sleep, too? Yeah, technically. Oh, I hate it. Yeah. I think that should be No, listen. Taken out. We listen. just keep on falling back. <laughs> listen. Think about <laughs> this. Fall back twice a year. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason. I mean, it, I think it could work because. No, it every could not. Four, every four years we have that extra day. Why can't we just. Yeah, and then in six years, if we do it twice a year. It'll be midnight at noon. Yes. Not only that, but think about it. Technically, your whole theory of I gain an hour of sleep doesn't mean anything because you lose an hour of sleep every year, too. So technically, you're just sleeping. The same. Wait. All year. Hang on. What would it be six years? It would be 12 years. It'd be 12. It'd be 12 years, not six years. My bad. Quick math. <laughs> But, yeah, no, I think it's dumb. I'm okay with them getting rid of it. I don't really care either way. So, if they do do that... 
Why do they want to get rid of it? Why not just leave it though? I don't know. And but see that's but see here's another thing too. There are a lot of we have a lot of devices that are programmed for the future daylight savings and jumping ahead. Like Right. Like my radio I didn't know my, my radio in my truck automatically yeah. does it. Does it? Yeah. I have to change it mine. actually did that last night before it even hit that time. Cause whenever I jumped in to go to Weston's, it said six o'clock. I was like, um, it ain't six, six o'clock. o'clock? Huh. And yeah, it, I guess it already did it. And Weird. I'm like, well, uh oh, this is a problem. Cause they just started talking about this and if that happens Oh, I'm gonna have to start changing back all yeah. the things that you gotta. Ah, huh, that is weird. Because computers I do bet the same phones, thing. Phones and computers would just not do it. I think. Well, they because could... they're connected to the internet. We right. gotta think of the things that aren't. Right, right. To the, right. the truck would be Radios, the issues. Yeah. Um. Some uh, digital clocks have them. Yeah, stuff like that would be the ones that um. That you'd have to deal with, and it'd be annoying. You would. Know and there's another thing I don't get to. They always say replace the batteries in your uh, smoke detectors. Right. Why? If that's just wasting battery. The it it your smoke detector tells you when it's low on battery. It beeps nonstop. Just to make sure. Better to be safe. To, Max, why do you carry a gun? Why do you carry a gun? Better to better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Better to have fresh batteries in your smoke detector and not need them than no, need just, fresh batteries and not have. That's not why I I carry it just in case if I want to rob something. I don't. Yeah, that okay. That's why. <laughs> Dude, I burned. You, you heard that here first, GTA? police. You heard that here first, police force. <laughs> Plus, I don't even think smoke detectors are that reliable. I, I really all, don't think I so either. I threw all mine in a fire. They beeped for like five minutes and then they were done. <laughs> yeah. Cause you, I don't. Uh, <laughs> they did not beep long enough to wake me up from my room. And there was a smoke detector. It's still there, right outside in the hallway, right outside the room. And it went off for whatever reason. I don't know why, but Brand it didn't wake me or Brandon up. And it was right outside, so they ended up putting one in the room. So there's one in the wall, like right next to the door in the bedroom. For one time, it went off. Still didn't wake us up. And <laughs> we're like, okay, these just don't work. Heck, I was cooking one time and set them off, and I didn't even realize oh. I was listening to music. Didn't even hear it. Oh yeah. My my grandparents every time they cooked, it, it would oh. go off. And they, well, you've been in. Just take the batteries out. You of them. you know you've seen my grandparents. They stick it up on the the highest ceiling yeah. they've got. So we have to go get the broom. Get the broom. Knock it off. Yeah. It's a whole ordeal. I think they finally just said, "I oh, forget it." <laughs> They just threw it out. I think they just, mom and dad just took the batteries out of all of them. I don't think any of them have batteries in them anymore. Mine are all sitting on top of the fridge. I don't have any <laughs> Without in my batteries. House. I don't have any now in my house. Now that I think house. about it, I don't think mom and dads have beeped in a while, so I don't even think they may not even have batteries in theirs. Or maybe, maybe they change theirs every time the clock resets. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that's a pretty good, just in case, you know, once a year. But twice a year, because I guess time changes twice. Just make sure there's fresh batteries. I say in it. we just vote to eliminate time, and then we don't have to worry about any of this. Yeah, then you just sleep all day. You already do that. But it wouldn't, yeah, we can yeah, just sleep yeah. all day. Yeah. It wouldn't be sleeping all day because there's no time. So who knows when it is? It's just you're sleeping. Hmm. You're like a butterfly. Police a force, police force. You heard that right. Max is going to rob somebody, and Jordan is definitely on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, half the time anymore, I don't even know what day it is. I work all night while Stetson's asleep. I sleep for a couple hours, and then I'm outside in the fields all day. So the other day, JC told me it was Wednesday. I was like, oh, no, it ain't. It's Monday. No, I for real, I thought it was Thursday. Or at least, <laughs> I thought it was at definitely Friday, but at the very least, I thought I it was Thursday. I think every day is Friday for you. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, not really, but 
especially like whenever we've got a show coming up or something like that. Yeah. Those are weird because I uh, don't prep for things. I just Do wait, it. wait till two days before <laughs> and then stay up for 48 hours and then get everything done. And No way. Not you. Oh, it sucks. There's but... no way you'd do it like that. Oh, no. <laughs> Couldn't be me. I don't wing things. So, speaking of the family, how is the kid? We haven't oh, seen him in a while. He's still a kid, and you just could have saw him, but instead you wanted to sit in your truck and wait for me to come to the truck. Yes, so. because I, because no one's <laughs> Sierra and JC and whoever else was sitting there. I didn't know how long that was they were already here, so I didn't want to keep them waiting because I know they're going to want to talk for ever. You really think they wanted to talk to you? No. <laughs> yes. Yikes. Especially right now. Yikes. Hey. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Why right now, Matt? Yeah, what is the big news, Matt? What's the big news, it's Matt? Big news. It's the huge, big huge, huge, absolutely news. humongous, astronomical, earth shattering news. <laughs> Are you? Go, Max. I don't even. She may not want me to to announce it. What? She announce put it, it on Facebook. Max, it's on Facebook. It's already got more views than this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, then I don't need to announce it. Maxie boy has a girlfriend. <laughs> Do you, me, do you want me to add something in this? Like, something yeah. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> <laughs> and then fireworks. <laughs> if you can, like, put it in the background, like, fireworks just going crazy and say, Max has a girlfriend. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> That'd be good. That would be great. <laughs> well, I'm not a graphics designer, so I won't be able to do that. Maybe I'll... you can employ your girlfriend to do it because yeah. you have a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> From now on, every time girlfriend is said, you have to add in. <laughs> That's oh, a lot man. of editing. I don't know about that one. For those of you that can't see Max, he's very, very red right now, and I like it. <laughs> I'm also sweating too. Yeah, that's a good excuse. It's also just hot in here. So. I have a sweatshirt on. I'm fine. I mean, I, I have a jacket <laughs> yes, on. But you're I have also a jacket. Naturally cold. I have a jacket on, and I'm a little warm. And that's also surprising because you're not very, you're not warm natured either. No, I'm pretty cold natured. You're just like Molly over here. You gotta have a blanket on you at all times. Oh, Molly's here, by the way. I don't know if we even said that. <laughs> And she just waved like y'all could see her. <laughs> She's a little special. It's okay, honey. You're pretty. <laughs> You're definitely not a straw man. Or <laughs> a straw man. The straw man. <laughs> so for you that doesn't know, at the at the meeting that we were just at, Dad decided to, or what was it? We, we were talking about taking tests, and uh, yeah. Dad goes, yeah, Tammy can't can't uh, remember what she took after she takes a test. She's like the straw man from, from Wizards of Oz. Can't remember <laughs> The look on Tammy's face <laughs> when he said that. For all of you who who is still confused? The straw man didn't have a brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he tried to he tried to crawl out of that hole that he dug himself, and it was he funny to watch. Oh, but um, there was something else I was gonna I was gonna talk about. Um, the there's a serial killer. Um, you all want to talk about that? A serial killer. Mm-hmm. Where? Well, he uh, just I... went after the the leprechaun from Lucky Charms. I think he's going after Tony the Tiger next. just died. Get you something. Um, no, uh, supposedly there was a guy. Uh, it may have been in New Mexico or Arizona, I forget which. But uh, he kidnapped this woman, and no one knew about her until 
he brought her back and laid her on her porch in a duffel bag. Cut up. Yeah. That's pretty. And they have video of him wheeling the duffel bag with her in it. It's pretty gruesome. I definitely would say that's not the carry out she was planning on having. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, well, so did you either of you two watch that Dahmer yeah, show? Yeah. No. He did that. He shoved the dude into his suitcase in one of the episodes of that. Hmm. Did you miss that one? No, I didn't. I oh, saw okay. it. I was just I trying to you. figure out what, watch it. what the obsession is with putting people in suitcases. <laughs> it's like, y'all ever heard of trash bags? <laughs> it probably works better. Get the scented ones, too. Like, if I'm going to be a serial killer, I'm going to do it with class. 50, 50, 50. <laughs> <laughs> we got to eliminate them odors, you know what I'm saying? It is, it's crazy how I watched that Dahmer series, and there is absolutely no way he could have gotten away with all his murders if he was doing it nowadays. Oh, no kidding. There's no because all, every time he almost got caught, he always got away with it by just being like, "Oh, well, we're gay." And the cops like, "Oh, well, I don't want to mess with the gays." No, and that's exactly leave. how it yeah. would go today. It would be even worse. <laughs> yeah, they it would, would be, be like even worse. they would be like, "Officer, we are homosexuals." And they would be like, oh, "We my, have My rights. bad, my bad. Uh yeah, um uh Sergeant, <laughs> do we have any uh, gay uh, guys on the force that can handle this? Uh, no. And then um, you hear, and okay. you hear laughter on and this. And then, yeah, <laughs> and then they're gonna go back down to the station, and they're gonna be like, "Well, what'd you do?" And they're gonna be like, "They said they were gay," and they were like, "Well, I hope you just left." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Crazy. They tried to. They tried to be like... That's a hate crime. <laughs> yeah, they'd be like... Great, so big dude. You've been murdering people up in here, sir? They'd be like, excuse me, what did you call me? <laughs> <laughs> and then that's it. They're going to court. They just got fired. They will never... They have be, to resign. Go yeah, on the waste will, protection they program. They will never be hired again. They're going to have to relocate to, like, Canada or something. Change <laughs> your name. Yeah. <laughs> Say, by the way, the kids working, could be working at McDonald's for the rest of their life. <laughs> oh my Not gosh. even the manager, it's the janitor. The janitor. <laughs> but the one that only cleans toilets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they would even trash be too. He wouldn't even, <laughs> they wouldn't even be hired as a Walmart greeter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because first time they say, Hey, sir, welcome to Walmart. Well, then we got to start the whole thing over again. <laughs> what did you say to me? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> oh, man. Did you just assume my gender? Oh, that's another thing. So, uh... Oh, gosh, we're down a rabbit hole now. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty litter being put in schools. What? Have you heard of this? What did you say? Yes. It's for sure not true. What did you say? <laughs> it is for sure I'm not true. I'm it doesn't. It is what for sure not true. So they are putting kitty litter boxes. Like litter boxes. Litter boxes oh, in. yes. Me and Seth were discussing this the There's other no day way. Because there's kids apparently now that think that they're animals. And I guess being cats and dogs is pretty popular. So I said, if they get to think that they're animals, does that mean that whenever they bite somebody, they get to be put down? Okay, so there is a person that I know that I am not at liberty to discuss how I know, but I do know of... (laughs) I do know... That sounds bad. (laughs) I do know of a person that says they are a cat and will hiss at people. That means you carry a spray bottle like it's a pistol on your head. <laughs> and every time they get out of line, they they go, Ksh, you go, Ksh, Ksh. <laughs> say, bad kitty, bad. Now you want to go one step, one step further than a cattle prod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> I was just going to say, like, kick them or something. <laughs> but, yeah, no, there's no way these litter boxes thing is true. They... Why? why it is not, it not, can I it's ask unsanitary. Why you it's that? unsanitary. The health department won't let it happen. Not in public schools. The health what department will do? not let it happen. I bet they will, but they'll have their own private room for it. 
it's still unsanitary. You'd have to poop in the litter box and then scoop it yourself right after, maybe? Probably. No, they're just going to make the nurses do it in the nurse's office. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, hey, listen, we know that you have enough things to deal with. You know, like, all the people that can't figure out which bathroom to use, they got to come in here already. But listen, we're going to put litter boxes over there in that corner. <laughs> um, you're going to have a couple kids come in here. They're probably going to hiss at you, look at you weird, and then they're going to go over there. They're going to pop a squat, and then we're going to need you to take that straight out, please. <laughs> Bag it up! <laughs> the best part is they're going to give them some little grated shovel, and they're going to be like, all right, listen. This is your shovel. If, if you've never <laughs> scooped out a litter box before, um, if, if there is liquid matter in there, it's going to clump up, okay? Um, it's very important that you get those clumps out. And also, if it's fecal matter, those are clumpy, too. Um, some of them like to cover it up, so you have to kind of sift through. <laughs> and just make sure, make sure you get all of it out, because if you don't get it all out quickly, it's going to start to stink. So You got a little rake, give a little rake to sift through it. Be like Zen Masters in there over in China, <laughs> breaking their... Breaking their little sand gardens. I have a, they all got their individual shovels too. With their names on. I, it. All I know is that's gotta be so degrading to be like, I'm literally a nurse, and I'm at the high school shoveling kitty litter. I I have a buddy at work whose wife is a school nurse, and I can't help but picture her doing this. She would pick it up and throw it at the kid. <laughs> hey, it's only fair. You identify as a monkey now. <laughs> <laughs> you go, <laughs> fling it. Oh my god. So what? So besides all that, what if if it were to happen? I'm not saying it is okay. happening. If it were to happen, what do you think? Oh, do you do you think people would start opting out of public schools, or do you think it'll just be one, just like the uh, transgender, you know, what what do they call it, the alternate bathrooms, or whatever they call it, um, just where they can just choose, they can just choose which bathroom they can use. I I'm blanking on it. Tranny bathrooms? Yes. Like they, trannies? Yes. Like, oh, I don't know. I don't think they actually can. I don't think you can just go in whatever bathroom. No, you not have to in go... Moore County. <clears throat> yeah, I was well, gonna duh, say last saying... time. Now I will say that it's getting worse. Yeah, here, for sure. But last time I checked, which is they still were required in, in some aspects. They were required to go to the um, nurse's office to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Um, but I mean, like. So, so, so really, what you're saying is it it is gaining progress, though. Then, oh yeah, it, Seth's. So they had one of the teachers, which I can't remember what her name was, and I'm not gonna say her name, even if I could remember it. But I remember I'd not liking her in high school. But um, I guess she started uh, LGBTQ plus oh, hashtag you know minus question mark blah blah blah. You didn't have whatever her high club, huh? I didn't have her, but I okay I met her, and uh, so she started that. Keep going. So she started that, and uh, the uh, my brother's friend group decided they were going to start a. a Republican Christian Club or something like that. And she, oh, I've heard and about this. They thing. got backlash hard. I mean, they were having protests in the park. They lot got and stuff. death threats. Oh to yeah, them. yeah. They literally sent death threats to the like Christian club that they mm -hmm. made. Yeah, and you know, if us three were there, we would have probably just been bring it. Yeah. yeah. Like, what What are you gonna do? What are you gonna, are you gonna do? Claws with your extended nails? Yeah. <laughs> They'll break off their fake. Come at me. Yeah. <laughs> you can hiss at me all you want. Guess what? I'm about to become a donkey and I'm gonna kick the damn. <laughs> <laughs> Half of a cave. 
more than half of them can't even throw a ball. How do you expect him to throw a punch? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> oh, jeez. I like this episode. I'm not going to lie. I think we're going to keep it. We're talking about Kenny. Kenny, I was going to say something. All I know is the views are probably going to go up because we're going to be on CNN. If we <laughs> <laughs> I was going to... Oh, 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 to your point about do you think people stop going to public schools or, or whatever. Or opting out or going to public schools. My kids aren't going to public school. They are not going to public school. No. So, <laughs> well, I, our kids. I, I forgot. Over, Molly's I in the room. Molly. Molly's in the room. Yeah. No. Oh, we're, our kids are not going to go to public school. <laughs> well, so private or homeschool? Oh. Oh, haven't oh. discussed that. We'll go into. No, we have. We have oh. discussed it. So homeschool if we can. If it's feasible, homeschool. But I go Death back and forth. Being, being the teacher, then. No one. You're gonna be working on a night shift schedule? No. She'd be home. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so I go back and forth with that because I did all three. I did private school, so and I was home school, <laughs> yeah, and I and I went to public school. I think school. you're. I think you're the only other person that I know who actually did that. Yeah. Along with me. <laughs> and so, I mean, in my opinion, yes, the public school system's not. Oh, anything. it's horrible anything close to what it used to be, but <clears throat> I also would agree that it's a uh, learning experience and it's important uh, to see all the crazy, mm-hmm. but have... It prepares you for the world. Yeah, and I mean, because <clears throat> if you're homeschooled and you, you see... You hate seeing it, No, Jack. you don't, and... and <laughs> you, you know that's get, not true. That's not true. Well, you can. You can get... There's out. a lot there's of a lot there's of a lot of ways things. to do yeah. it. Yeah. And, I mean, you can... Like, there was a lot of stuff that we did. Like, we would go... They would have homeschool days at, like, the skating rink. And they That's would, true. And yeah. they would have homeschool days at, like, the Evansville Museum or whatever. But you guys, you guys were like both... That, but, like, it's not the same as growing up. Eight hours right. a day with, with, right. uh, with peers and everything. Yeah. But you guys were both homeschooled at pretty young ages. You were before elementary or early middle elementary school, school it was right? Middle school. Middle school. We were both. We it was did you? Fifth okay, grade that's right. To sixth grade, like midway through. That's sixth right. Grade. And I was. And then you came back in seventh grade. Mm-hmm. I was midway from sixth grade to eighth grade. Right. Okay. So you guys are both middle school. I think. But we both, and this came, is kind we of both we came from private to homeschool, which I, I don't know about you, but it didn't help me any at all because that private school, we only have what? Not even 15 I, people in there? So yeah. it, it, we really didn't get out that much. If yeah. they did go to a private school, they would not go to the one you guys went to. Right. No, that's totally yeah. right. I look back yeah. at it now, I'm like, there was only a few things that I found fun about that place. Other than that, it was a prison. It it's not. No, it doesn't have a whole lot. Oh yeah, homeschool was prison, but I, I mean that private school wasn't any better. Right. And I real and really I didn't learn much at all, other than uh, like a few things. Like we talked about the Noah and the Ark. Right. Like, I wouldn't have known that if I didn't go there. Right. The only thing that I think... That's mainly that the only thing I remember from that. About the only thing that I can think that was beneficial from that um, was just the grounding in the things that I believed in. Right. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, I think that's something that also is pretty instilled from your family life. Right, Yeah. But like, if you're if you're grounded in those things, I mean, obviously at a young age, public school can be hard just because they're with your kids more than you are for the most part. Yeah. Because by the time they get home, they're up till eight or nine, and then they're going to bed. Right. But I think it's just a matter of being more heavily involved in public schooling because for years they've just been trusted with all of our kids instead of being checked on and looked into yeah which uh i think would change a lot yeah i mean heck whenever i was in high school we had multiple teachers that were doing some weird crazy stuff yeah in the four years that i was there yeah Yeah, and i was just about to bring that up i was about to say it's getting worse in boonville for some reason Um, yeah 
I mean, because from the one in middle school, I mean, you didn't hear anything until, like, oh my gosh, it was probably my sophomore year, your freshman year. That's when everything started to go down, and then that's when they started getting caught in my senior year to his senior year. The one at the middle school. I'm saying there wasn't a current since then. Okay, until, I was going to say, the, okay. yeah, I was gonna say the one at the middle school, I was in sixth grade, and it got handled right then and there. Yeah, well, I'm saying, like, you did, it wasn't noticeable until. Okay, yeah. Well, and the problem is going to be. Is, and it's still happening. They're just more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely still happening. It happens a lot. Um, and the other way around with female teachers yeah. and male students. Yeah. That but it's ignored. Yeah, but it's ignored because it's you know, a guy and a girl. Yeah, so because <clears throat> men can't be sexually assaulted. Well, the other problem is is the lack of teachers. So the quality in teachers mm-hmm. is going to be going down because they can't be as picky anymore. And right. Because nobody wants to teach either because it's low paying. And, right. See, this is like one of the few things I lean a little bit more liberal on yeah, than conservative. Yeah. I think teachers need to be paid more. I think there des- definitely needs to be... Teachers and farmers need to be paid more. Yeah, yeah I think general. there definitely needs to be a reformation of the public school system as there is. They need to figure some <clears> crap <throat> out. Yeah. We, I don't agree with... I don't lean liberal on a lot of the things that they think need to change about the school system, but I think that there does need to be changes to it. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, like, there's just, there's very limited oversight for a lot of that stuff, and you just don't know what's happening, and there's no checks and balances, it's just right. whatever they want to talk about. Because it's like, you know, if you talk about Christianity or anything like that in a classroom, I mean, you're getting fired. But yeah. you can tell a kid, you know, hey, little Timmy that's five years old in kindergarten, why don't why don't we go talk about your sexuality and see if, if you want to be a girl or not. Or yeah. a cat. Or a cat or a dog <laughs> yeah. or whatever. And it's like... Let's see where you tip on that scale. It's like, you know, how... At how this, is that justified? Uh, yeah, at this point, I mean... That's a belief system for these people. Yeah. Like, it's just as much a religion, I, it, weird as it, it really is to is. say. I right, mean, for these yeah. people, it is. I mean, they live and die by this stuff. Yeah. I mean, I think it just... Math, science, whatever. I mean, English. I mean, those things need to be taught, and that's it. You know, math right. is one plus one is two, and... Set That's it. N, N equals five and Q equals R. Like, where does that come from? Just well, just, that's that's I, math. Yeah, yeah, but that's the thing is like, why why make things more difficult when we need to start focusing on? Oh my gosh, that's like, I went to try to help one of my siblings one day with this math worksheet that they had, and they were learning how to multiply. Or no, they were learning how to add and subtract. This has been probably mm-hmm. a couple years ago, and I'm looking at this worksheet, and it's like. One plus one is two or whatever, and so I'm like, well, it's easy. You just you put the one, you put a plus symbol, another one, and then you put two. And he was like, uh, that's not how we were told to do it. And they were supposed to do, like, this whole big old equation on, I mean, it wasn't one plus one is two. Right. But like, they, he had this huge equation of getting this very very simple answer that i was like why did you need common to di- why did you need to divide to get yeah that's common why? core math right there yeah yeah they do make things more complicated than it needs to be well and that's just the world right now <laughs> yeah everything's more complicated than truth. it needs to be i think that's true like simplicity is not a problem. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's simple. easy. It's okay to be simple. And then they, and then they, uh, like, all of our politicians and the people who run, like, the ISTEP, I don't, I, the educational boards are wondering, 
why uh, kids are coming out of school with with uh, problem solving uh, deficiency. Yeah. Yeah. And, well, that's why. <laughs> right. You're, you're not. You're. You're. Um, what am I thinking of? You're. You're making things more difficult than what it should be. Right. Well, not and only because that, but I mean, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say because of stuff like that, it's kind of like. Adds to what we mentioned when your dad called your mom the, the yes. straw man. <laughs> a lot of times with Scarecrow. that with that with that <laughs> crazy like all that wild out there crap and I can speak to it firsthand, you memorize this stuff for the test, you take the test and it's out it's of out your of mind. Your You're never gonna remember it again. Because it's so complicated. Right. You know, I can tell you right now, I can I can show you exactly how we used to write out multiplication. Right. Like, do it, like, you know, make the two lines and then the cross, you know, whatever. I can do that any day of the week because it's simple. Right. But they try doing this random crap where you got to do this and you draw a square and then you just, like, put the numbers in the squares. It's crazy crap they do now. Mm -hmm. No one's ever going to remember that. Yeah. Well, so it's not useful. Yeah. Uh, and the thing is, is really once you get past middle school... And really, I think once you start getting into middle school, things should be starting to gear more towards being an adult. I yeah. can tell you, if it was not for my ag teacher whenever I was in high school, I would not have known, I wouldn't have even known how to write a check coming out of high school. Like, it's insane to me that really? of all, yeah. For real, you you didn't get a checkbook had... in uh, in BCS. No, because oh no, I wasn't there long enough. Oh. I went out of there in fourth grade. Yeah, because you. That's true. Yeah, but... we got we got checkbooks in in uh, in at BCS, and yeah. that's how I learned. But we I mean, had like, like the class that I was supposed to be that was supposed to be a business course or whatever was um, the teacher that I was supposed to have had a kid, which understandable, but then we just had a sub for like the entire time that we were in there. Right. And we just watched videos and stuff the whole time. I but, tell you what, they could cut down the they could literally shave down the school year by so many days or even go to four day weeks if they would quit showing movies in schools. Oh yeah. Well and I think that some kids benefit from movies. Like I mean I had like for me I <clears throat> knew whenever I was younger that I was going to have I was always going to be using agriculture so I took more classes with that than anything else and I had a lot of problems with tests and stuff like I could do book work and everything just fine and I did tests fine too but like time tests and stuff like that oh, I just yeah. don't I don't work quickly and I, I graded your math I tests. think yeah I was going to say I <laughs> think, Oh, math? No. I'm not I, I graded your math test. No, listen, and this is the funny part, and you can ask anybody that I've ever talked to about math stuff. If I'm doing math on paper where it's like, the moon is white, but what are the odds of it being yellow or something stupid like that? I can sit there for four days and still be sitting there with nothing on the paper and be like, I don't know. Why does it matter? Yeah. Why does it, why does it matter start? what color the, the moon's going to be tomorrow? I don't care. It does not affect me at all. But whenever I went to college, I, I had been in agriculture classes my whole high school, and I can do in my head math for that stuff easy. Like, there would be this equation where it was like, if you had X amount of round bales that went into a trailer and they had to go in there side by side or whatever and you could stack them up two levels high how many hay bales would be in there or whatever and then it would give you the diameter and all that i could do that in my head but right. <laughs> but like the other math i was just like this well, is dumb but because was, that's what you cared about yeah it meant something it meant I, something yeah, to you it I stuck with visualize you. that yeah. It stuck with you. It's yeah. not one of those things that you just learned and lost. Right. Because it was it useful to yeah. me. Like it, right. it was something in my head that was beneficial for me to know. Yeah. And they they don't have... Like for me, I had problems. Like my scores were low on the... What is that test that you have to take? 
to get high step PSAT. no it was PSATs. My scores were low oh, in math too. on the PSATs. Yep. Same here. And they told me um, that it was a new program that they were trying to start that they were going to let me be a part of. And since I had created a career pathway because of all the agriculture classes that I had, they didn't even use my PSAT testing scores. They just huh. used my class scores. Which would be smart. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, I was in like at least three ag classes out of eight and I was going to college for agribusiness so mm-hmm. I mean it was obvious that that was the way things were going of course that's not the way things happened but you know hmm. but I mean it's like the school systems are so out of whack and everything with, yeah. with what's being well, taught and especially like the ICEP testing, oh my gosh. Like, why does that matter? They they care about so much about their school score or whatever, <clears throat> and then they punish the kid. It's basically punishment, if you yeah. think about it. Because they told us all throughout middle school, or at least they told me in my class, uh, that ICEP did not <laughs> matter. You don't have to stress out about it. So I didn't. I, I bullcrapped that whole test. Then I got... I ended up being a special class to uh, retake or to prepare and retake that I step yeah. and get my and it was totally unfair because a lot of the very very smart people I'm talking 4.0 students did the exact same thing and they got put in that in that class and right. lost an uh, extra uh, curricular activity. Right, yeah just to do that and it's just like why does it matter why does it matter if i don't know how to write a sentence the way you want me to it, it, that's not <clears throat> gonna affect how we it, really and if that whole test in uh particular doesn't doesn't really say anything about how you're being taught or because <sighs> the whole thing's bogus well, and the, right. funny, the funniest part to me is with, like, you brought up not writing a sentence the way that they want you to write a sentence. I understand being professional and being a certain way and everything, but in your day-to-day life, you're not using that unless you're writing emails to businesses and stuff like that. And even if you are doing that, I can tell you so many times that I've been dealing with people and things like that, and... I just do things the way that I do things, and if you don't like it, I don't really care. Yeah. And I would write things exactly the way that I talk and exactly the way that I do things, and people appreciate it because it's authentic. Like, right. you're not trying to be fake. You're not trying to be something that you're not. You're just talking and being a person, not being some robot. But it's like these tests just test for things that are important for you in school but like they don't have any kind of testing to see if you're going to be able to be a productive citizen once you're yeah. out of school yeah and everything's geared towards college as a goal which yep. is great for some people you know if you're gonna be a doctor or something like that you, you best good. have you best have some degree right, that's yeah. like yeah yeah he's okay he can cut you open yeah, yeah, yeah. but other than that like I mean, college is not is not yeah. anything that it used to be because I can go on Google right now and tell you and learn and figure out like for me I'm visual if I mm-hmm. if I can see it I can do it and like I could go watch a video and figure out how to do whatever you're going to go get taught in right. college it's like, for free like some like, people they'll go and they'll just like waste all this money on stupid degrees that they're never going to use yes yeah, so they can go be a barista at a uh, Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, that are like, that are like. Then they have life like, debt, like, like, uh, like art degrees and crap like yeah. that. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> Just kidding. That was a dig on Molly, but she actually is using her art degree already for money, so she's not wasting. That's it. good. She's she's not wasting. It's it. good that an art degree does something. <laughs> it does. It does. Hey, well, that's like my. It keeps that money flowing. 
Well, that's like, stay home dad. She wants to go paint yeah. all day. My grandpa, whenever he was went to college, he went for four years or whatever, which college was way cheaper then. I mean, yeah. it was somewhat reasonable, but at the same time, money was worth more. So, I mean, there's that. But it obviously wasn't $80,000 to go get a degree. But he got... What was that degree that he got? It was something stupid. It was like... Um, what is it whenever you're like learning how to talk to people and stuff like that? Social. Yeah, it was something, some social, social yeah, some social degree or something like that. And uh, he went to college for that, four years, paid all that money, and then opened up his own business and did that until he, the day he retired. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I'm sure that he was very, very capable of talking to people prior to having that degree. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was in FFA all four years, and he was the president for two and was the district treasurer, too, for huh. that. Like, if you're not capable of talking to people in those positions, then you probably shouldn't have been there in the first place. Right. Like, I mean, I don't know. It's just crazy because now people are doing the same thing, but they're getting a debt that's going to be with them the rest of their life. Right. And now, because people are realizing that, oh, wow, I got scammed and screwed by this college that charged me way too much money for a degree that I'll never be able to pay off at my minimum wage job of <laughs> whatever the case may be that you wound up going to do because your degree's useless, now have this desire to be like, well, you screwed me, so now you owe me money for this. And it's like, mm, no, we nope. really don't. <laughs> we don't nope. need to pay for your college because you're dumb. That's not our fault. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. On the same side, though, if I had student loans I was paying off, I'm not going to say I'm not going to take this check from Biden. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, no. Pay my student loans if, off. I Go mean, I have, I have student loan debt. I mean, and Is it going to get paid off I with this no whole idea. thing? It no should. It I think should. it should. I, I think that if you're going to pay off debts, then you should pay off everyone's debts. I think it should all be right. equal. Right. But at the same time, right. I think, in my opinion, if you are a person that, you know, just expects everything to be paid for... Right, I, that's I, an issue. Yeah, I would not... So... I would not, if they weren't going to pay for it already, I would not be the person being like, oh yeah, you should pay for this. Right. So, what do you mean... Pay off their I, I don't really listen when it comes to that. I haven't. I don't know what you all are talking about. So you're going to have to. There's supposed to be paying off student loan debts of up to $20,000. Is what, yeah. what yeah. I Which, read whenever but, I did but, what done? <laughs> Which, well, so it pays like, off. Who has that? The issue with it is, is that's government money going towards it. Our tax money. That was my, that was my shoe. Our tax money going toward it. So that's why a lot of people are mad about it. I don't really care. If I'm being honest. I think it's dumb. I wish they would pay off all debt if they're going to do that, like you said. But they're not. It's never going to happen. I'm <clears throat> not going to sit well, here and, and then, moan and cry. And, and then here's the other problem with that, though. Is now that they're going back and paying off, off these debts that haven't been paid yet, what about the people that already paid? Right. What yeah. about the people that got scholarships or whatever? Should they just get a check for whatever they for twenty thousand dollars? Nope. Because the government's gonna do what they always do: screw people over. Yep. That's what I'm saying. I don't think that it should be canceled at all. I think if you made that decision and you you made that choice, then you're stuck with it. You're a oh, big yeah. boy. You're a big girl. You decided to and plus oh, yeah. buckle sure. up and go do it, whether and, uh, you were told it was important or not. You did it. It right. was your choice. You were over the age of eighteen, I would assume, for the most part. Uh, maybe and, seventeen. Yeah, I mean, there's some exceptions, I'm sure, but you were you were big enough and smart enough to be able to go to college. You were big enough and smart enough to be able to say that is. Way too much money. Yeah, so that's a that's a complaint or that's a argument a lot of them make is oh well you're just a kid when you decide to go to college you're just a kid. I mean you're 18. I was I was making a lot of decisions at 18. Yeah. 
Like, that you can't use that as an excuse. You're a fully, fully grown adult. Right. I mean, if you're old enough to make grown-up grown up decisions, you're old enough to make grown-up consequences. Yeah. You know, I mean... Or face the grown-up consequences. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. So, that took a real serious turn. Well, uh... Cats aren't people. Well, I was going to say... I, <laughs> I was going to say... Uh, along with that, like, with them paying all this off, they're, uh, the, the people are not going to be as motivated to use their degrees. That's a good to point, pay too. That's a good point, too. So, well, not only that, but you're just, you're not helping them no. at all. Like, like, they think that they're, Helping by paying off all these debts or whatever. No, but all, them more all you're spoiled. Yeah, all you're doing is taking a group of, of kids. Mommy and that, daddy's money. Yeah, yeah, that have been, for the most part, I mean, I'm not going to say all of them are because some of those kids busted their backs all through school to get into a good college and to get good things and be right. able to go better places than they've been. And then, not only that, what about the people who couldn't go to college now? It's just like. Well, crap! I should have just went. Right, because it was. Man, That's what being just free. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, I can go to college for free. No, I was gonna say, I. That I mean, dude, yeah, I can go to college for free right now. I can go back to college if I want to. <coughs> Easy, free, done. Mom gets VA benefits. Oh. And I'm yeah. under twenty six. Okay, sorry. Then me. <laughs> yeah. Granted, I couldn't write out of high school, but that's also not the reason I didn't go. Right. The reason I didn't go, I was accepted. He, a mar- he was a manager at Dairy Queen. What? No, <laughs> I I just didn't go just because I decided it was stupid. Well, not only that, it wasn't but for me. Like, cool, you done. guys didn't go to college. You didn't get the debts that all of your peers have that right. are graduating right now, and probably for the most part are either scrounging to get a job or don't have a job. And if they do have a job, it's probably not that well paid. And even if they say, get even if they get a job with their degree right out the gate right now with their you know let's say on the good side the I don't know I'm sorry we had a technical difficulty uh, so talking about the being in some people being in debt and not having good jobs right. and whatnot. Yeah. And I mean, the reality of it is, is you guys are making as much, if not more, than your peers that are coming right out the gate mm-hmm. from college with all this debt, and you guys are, are doing just fine. I and mean, I like, can't, you're not are, at a disadvantage because of it by any means. Right. I mean, and even so, there are countless employees that I work with that have degrees mm-hmm. oh, and yeah. wildly different craft that, <clears throat> that has oh, nothing yeah. to do with our job. They have these degrees, and they're like, well, it. It's just better to work where we do, you yeah. know. We spent the money on it. It wasn't that they hated what they decided to do. It wasn't All anything right. like that. It's just they looked at the benefits that our company gives us and the the money that they pay us and the work that we do, and they said that's just a better fit for me. Right. So they wasted all that money not knowing because a lot of people I feel like are scared to take a gap year. Yeah. Because I know you say, oh, you'll hear a lot of times if you take a gap year, you're never going to go back. There's probably a reason for that. Yeah. The reason yeah. because you find something that you like more or you can do right. this the rest of your life because or you took you the gap year and you explored. Yeah. Right. You know, I think a gap year is good. I Oh yeah. I would always push a gap year. Yeah. I would always, always tell somebody take a gap year. Yeah. Look look around, try to find what you're wanting to do. Work in the meantime. Oh yeah. Like work absolutely work in the meantime. Yeah, I mean don't but, go on some world i mean if you want to travel the world go out see some stuff i mean do that like right. if you're if you're capable of doing that and you're able to do that Absolutely. do it go see some things get Absolutely. out of get out of your small town and and go see some things right so with with us saying that jordan your your college career was cut a little short are you happy that happened or are you oh, or yeah. are you wanting to go back oh no no i won't go back and now, if, if my circumstances had been different, one, I was going to college during COVID, so there wasn't any in-class anything. 
And on top of that, my son was born about the same time I was going into college. And yeah. it was me doing 15 credit hours a week or something like that. And then mm -hmm. also working 16 hour days in a factory. And it was not for me. And even after I, you know, took less classes and, and did it that way, it still was just not my cup of tea. Right. Now, if I had... And plus, I also had the realization right off the bat of, holy crap, I've been here for half a semester and I'm already eight thousand or $9,000 in the hole for this school that I'm learning things that I already know right and it was not it and, didn't make sense and you don't me. need the degree no i don't because i mean i've i've never had a problem finding a job you, I mean, right, you yeah. there's plenty of jobs yeah. because nobody wants to work people just want the the quick check and they want the money right off the gate mm. and it's like you can't that's not how it works it's called work because you gotta work for the money. You can't just get the money. And well, amen. Well, and so like me, I I always tried to be a computer engineer, and I honestly I I really think I got close. Um, just Pete or my SAT scores didn't really show that, but at the same time, everybody wanted me to go to college for that. And all good reason, but I look back at it now. I'm like, I I know people who go who've gone for that. It's just like it. It's nothing that I. There's nothing I would have learned. More. Right. I mean, I can still out text some of the guys who who yeah. have went, and it's pretty sad because they're thirty grand in the hole. Right. And here I. I mean, yes. Am I doing anything for it? No. Only the people that trust me to do it, I'm working for them. But I kind of like it, though, because yeah. I don't want to be spending 18 hours working on a, a, a freaking website. Right. Like, I don't, I, now that I, I'm actually, like, out and doing life, I don't want to do that. Right. Now, back when I was in school, I had time for that. I mm -hmm. was doing that all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, just now, just the way that things have been and. I, I don't I really don't see myself even doing that. Anymore. Well, what's what's one of the what's one of the reasons that you have less time nowadays? Because <laughs> you <laughs> have a <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what were you gonna say, Puma? But no, I mean like, and and the other thing is with that is it, even if you did one day, like, what age are you gonna be able to retire at from Toyota? <laughs> Forty-five. Forty-three. No, yeah. fifty-five. They can only keep you for twenty five years, Justin. No, they can't. You have to be. You have to have twenty five years and be fifty five to retire with eighty percent benefits. So either way, fifty five is pretty freaking young. Yeah. Oh yeah. And if you wanted to pursue that, I don't know a whole lot about that field. I don't know if you have to have certain certification and things like to that. Because I still have the packet saying uh, I'm retiring at 43 or 45, so I still have that packet. So they well, change it. Well, I mean, either can. either way, that it doesn't. Either way, it's young. Yeah. It's young. That's all. I'm going to be a Walmart greeter for well, Walmart. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but if you wanted to pursue that, whenever you're retired. You could exactly. very, you could very easily do that with. That at Toyota. Yeah, you could very easily do that though with simply word of mouth. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to have all of the schooling necessarily. I mean, I don't know a ton about about that field because I'm not a technical guy. But I, for a lot of things, like for me, I was going for agribusiness so I could run farms and ranches. I don't necessarily need the degree for that because I. Do have paper. I do have certificates saying that I'm more than capable of it, and not only that, mm. but it's it's word of mouth. You can have the degree and you can be the best in your class or whatever, but have never seen a cow before in your life. Yeah, and it's like it's a whole different thing whenever you're out in the field and a cow's giving birth and it's stuck. <laughs> like what are you gonna, <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> you're gonna sit there. How many of those have you had? How many of those have I had? Uh, we're pretty fortunate. We've only had two probably in the last 15 years. 
Huh? It was it your grandpa who pulled? I was out of state, so oh. it was actually <laughs> Josh that pulled the last oh. one. The other one, it was we called the vet, and we actually used one of the posts that was out in the field to use as a lever to pull the. Cat. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. But I mean, like, it's a whole different thing than than simply the classes. You know, like a lot of those guys are gonna trust somebody with experience that's worked with somebody that is yep. knowledgeable and has references of other people that they've worked for as opposed to somebody straight out of school especially because at a job like that you know some of them bigger farms are paying these guys hundred thousand oh, plus yeah. a year i mean you're not just going to hand out that money just because this kid's got a certificate that says right. I- i'm a a student <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Tyler. Tyler is a Tyler's phenomenal. <laughs> Tyler is a phenomenal example of that. He is straight out of high school. Continued doing exactly what he'd been doing while yeah. he was in high school. Yeah. And that kid is TikTok how old famous. is he? Is he twenty? He's twenty three. I thought he was twenty three now. And he has more experience on the farm than. A good majority of people in the world. Yeah. And it's a dying breed. He is not only part of the 1% of the world that's into agriculture, but he is in the 1% of the 1% that are under 60. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's a dying thing that he's taken advantage of, and he's got a great job to be yeah. able to learn and experience things because... They're not a huge company, but they've got lots of acreage, and he still gets to do, on. and oh, he yeah. still gets to do most of it by himself. Right. And that's how he makes time for six times. Yeah. And he's TikTok famous. Yeah, so. he's TikTok famous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, we talked about a lot. We're over an hour. Say that. Why is it? That didn't feel very long. It like, really did. When you do it, it feels like. Two years. I know, right? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut that out. Oh, no. uh, so, uh, I mean, I didn't really have any any other things I wanted to talk about today. Did you guys? No, I think I think we. It's once we get in that rabbit hole. Yeah. That's when we start going on. So I, we need to figure out some more rabbit holes we can get into. But. Yeah. Oh, I'm good at finding rabbit. I holes. I tell you <laughs> one thing. I want to try. What's that? Have you seen on TikTok where they'll like do like drafts of random things? Like they'll be like, "Oh, it's the cereal draft," and they'll do like a five round draft drafting the best cereals. That, I have thought about that. Those look so fun. I think we could they do some do of look those. Fun, but I don't know. Will that be technically stealing the idea? Ah, uh, I mean no. Because I mean, that because I know which one you have seen. I've seen a lot of them. Oh, there's. I've there's, seen multiple. there's multiple. There's multiple. There's definitely multiple. I've seen the one that I think you're talking about. The more famous one. I see them the most. Plus, it's not like they have it patent yeah. uh, well, on it. It's so like me, nobody else is I, allowed to talk about cereal on their yeah. <laughs> So, uh, there's also another idea that I came up with. Um, actually, I just had it like half an hour ago. Can we play, since we're going to be doing video starting the next episode, can we just play cards while we're talking? Like Uno or something. Uno or something? Because here's, here's why I'm asking. Because I'm jittery and move around a we, lot and it keep us focused. <laughs> fiddle around with something. I think that would actually help. I'd be down for it. What do you think? Do you think that's a good idea? Or do you think people would just rather just watch us sit here and talk and fiddle I... with, with a, a, a phone stand? I think yeah, battery that <laughs> look if that you take takes the battery, too much focus for me. If you take would, the battery, I would be not paying attention to one of the things. You can squeeze the battery in, just perfect, but it doesn't come back out unless you open the legs. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> oh, All right. Anyway, uh, yeah, I don't hate that idea. We could try it. Yeah, I think uh, it's something we could try. But. Well. George, we'll see you on the next episode. We'll see you. We'll see you. Yeah, uh, see you thank you guys time. all for listening. And tuning in. Forty-nine episode, and uh, like we said, it may be a month before we even get the next video or uh, uh, episode out. Yeah. Um, just because it's gonna be cleanly uh, taken off the iPhone, and I, that's a lot of editing. 
um, which is even better for me because I could have it on the go, so it's easier editing for me. But that's true for our Spotify listeners. It's going to be kind of hard for me to tr- um, I don't know, uh, transfer that over. Yeah. So uh, that's that's mainly the reason why I want to set such a later date. So because I don't want there to be a deadline. But Absolutely. Anyways. So until then, thank you guys you. all take care. Be safe. Jordan, yeah. thank you for coming. No problem. Again, we'll see you next episode. Also, burr, 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 burr. Burr, 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 burr. 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 Burr,